Hello this year's people, after several months of absence I've decided to come back and update Swapper for this year's 2.7 and also to uh, keep up with the latest versions of Moose and I decided that I would also um, record a new introduction video for the, for the newcomers just to uh, try to explain what Swapper is and hopefully this video will be shorter than the previous ones Okay, so Swapper is basically a script that I wrote in order to provide uh, replacements for any number of clients that we choose in our in our missions. It's a uh, it's basically um, a routine that automatically scans for uh, clients with uh, a certain suffix or prefix added to their name. For example, here we have uh, clients at Copyletti. As you notice, uh, these uh, clients are using a special uh, suffix in this case that it's underscore client. I'll explain how all this works later, but uh, just notice that uh, all these clients have uh, a special prefix or suffix that the uh, client uses, sorry, that, tar that Swapper uses in order to provide replacements for them automatically. Okay, uh, Swapper works for clients of any coalition or any country uh, placed anywhere. Could be in a parking spot in an airbase, could be on a farm, could be in a, on top of a mountain. For example, we have a couple of helicopters here on top of Mount Elbrus, etc. Does not work. It does not work for clients based on ships or carriers, unfortunately, because of the this year stuff. But it should work uh, everywhere, uh, everywhere else. Also, you must keep in mind that uh, for uh, clients based on farms, uh, they need to be set to uh, take off from ground or take off from ground hot. Okay, that's uh, pretty much the only rule here. <clears throat> uh, the reason being that uh, if you set them to, for example, uh, take off from ramp, um, DCS would mess it up by assigning. Uh, a parking spot, the same parking spot to several units or spawn a unit in, in another parking spot and create collisions and stuff like that. So it's better to just set it to take off from ground or take off from ground hot and then Swapper should have no problems with it. Okay, so without further ado, I think it's uh, better if I show you what it does. Uh, let's see Swapper in action. I'm going to start this mission um, here that I created. Save it. <clears throat> At the start of the mission, you'll see that Swapper will scan for all the clients there with the prefix or the suffix that I've introduced. We'll see a message on the top uh, upper right corner. There you go. Uh, it, it displays all the options that we have set. And uh, right now we have 40 clients. Swapper set count is 40. 40 clients that uh, will will uh, get replacements right now. Okay. And yeah, we can see the replacements right here on the map. All these guys are replacements. And in this case, I've set them to AI. These are all uncontrolled AI. So let's start. Let's select the coalition. Select the blue, the blue coalition, for example. And let's uh, spawn at Cabriletti. Let's spawn in an 8 and A at Cabriletti. Uh, but before I do, I want to show you. Let's go to spectators. I want to show you. Let's spawn here. Let's check this 8 and A. Okay, so all these replacements that you see here. Those are replacements, are uncontrolled AI, okay? They are forced to start cold, so they won't move. And these are uh, like clones, clone images of your clients, okay? And you can see here, they, uh, we have an A10A, a MiG-29, a Su uh, Sohoi, and a DF-51. Let's, let's enter in this uh, A10A and see what happens. We're in. And as you can see, the client that was, uh, sorry, the, the replacement that was here disappeared when we spawned. Okay, and we were able to spawn in a client-controlled aircraft. Uh, we can actually move to the, to the MiG-29 from Poland to the left. Um, should be this one. We select it to see what happens now. The replacement that was here disappears when we spawn, and the previous replacement... Uh, response again okay so swapper does this scans the clients and detects uh, when clients are getting in into a slot then automatically removes the replacements lets the client spawn when the client is gone replacement comes back as long 
as it hasn't been destroyed. We'll talk about uh, that later when I explain to you the options, etc. But basically, Swapper does this now. So far, these are parking spots. This, as like I said, this also works on farps. So let's, for example, change coalitions. Let's go back to spectators. Don't worry, this uh, MiG-29 will respawn as soon as I get in onto another client. Let's go to the Red Coalition. Let's uh, let's go to Tor Torba Farp. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, these clients are said to take off from ground hot. But as you can see, the replacements do not move. They are static, okay? Because Swapper is uh, forcing them to spawn cold and don't move, so they don't fly away. Another thing that you must notice on Fire Clients is that I forced an offset for the replacements because I noticed in 2.7 that uh, the client, when, when spawning, it will spawn on top of the collision box of these replacements, even though the replacements had disappeared. So this is a DCS issue. In order to go work around this issue, I had to introduce uh, offsets once more. And now if we try to switch to another helicopter in this uh, farb, there we go. The replacement that was there disappeared, our client appeared there, spawned there, and the previous slot where we were uh, got the replacement back, offset to the left to avoid collisions. Okay, so this is basically what Sopper does. And finally we will go to uh, our MI-8 and Mount Elbrus, so you can see that see there's no collision and we can also use Swapper on clients that are very very far away in the middle of nowhere okay Swapper should work everywhere except ships remember Swapper does not support ship-based clients anymore uh, and that's basically it guys this is what Swapper does I uh, created obviously uh, for all those people who prefer to have uh, some kind of replacement for the client so uh, farps and air bases don't feel so empty and lifeless. That's the idea behind it. And yeah, uh, next we will explain how Swapper works, uh, what, do you, what you need to do to set it up, etc.